So in this video, we want to talk about shared data. Let's inspect our site and go to the view DevTools. Right now, if we click on the inertia component, you notice we have the props. And on that prop, we have our component name, the URL, and some other information. For example, if we go to the about page that has a prop user, and if we reload the dev tools, you notice under props, we have this user that is set to Mike. And of course, if we click on the component itself, which is our about component, we have props user. So we can access these properties using a special variable in our view components, and that is page. For instance, let's go to our home component. And instead of this text, hello, I'm just going to output that page prop and see what we get. We still have that sleep function, so we can get rid of it later. So we have our component, props, URL, and so on. That means if I wanted to get the component name, I can just chain component here, and this would give me home. So one good use of this one is to use it for the title of our components instead of hard coding it. So I can make this title attribute dynamic by providing the column before it, and then change this to page dot component like this. So now on our home page, we see my app, then the name of the component. And if we wanted to include that pipe, we could change this to a template string and then bring back that pipe. So it looks the same as before. But this is just to show you there's this page prop that is always available in our views and we can grab the data from that prop page. Now at this point, we cannot get this user which is sitting inside our about component. So in our home component, we cannot say page props then user because that doesn't exist in our home page. By the way, I'm going to comment this sleep out so we don't have to wait two seconds every time. Now, in order to have shared data, we can go to that handle inertia request middleware, which we created in the first video. So we didn't actually visit this, but here we are now. We have our root view, which is set to app and this share function that we can use to share a specific data among all the other views. So one of the common uses is to have the authenticated user. Now at this point, we don't have a proper authentication system. So we're just going to hard code things. For example, we can provide a key and then the value for it. For instance, John. Now, if we go back to our website, you notice we get that name here because we already called it. And if we go to view DevTools on the inertia component itself, we have the props and then again props. And then under that, we have user, which is set to John. So this name prop that we see up here is this page variable that we are accessing it in our view components. Then we go down to props, then user. So now we can access this John user from any component, meaning if I copy this one and go to our layout, for example, and just paste it here. So in our navigation, we should see the name and then the links. So that's how we can have shared data in our Inertia app, but this is not the way we want. So for instance, we want to say auth user, then set it to a proper user. Now, again, we don't have it. So for now, I'm just going to say John or null. I want to say if the user is authenticated, give me the username, otherwise it's going to be null. So now in our website under props, we have an object called auth and within that we have user. So back in our views, we need to say props auth then user. So again, we see John up there. And this would make much more sense when we have an actual authentication system so we can grab that user and the properties we want to expose to our front end. So that will come in later. But for now, we are going to leave this as it is. Now, what we are doing here is a synchronous operation. We could also load the data to share among all the views lazily. And if we go to inertia documentation under shared data, we have this piece of code and I'm just gonna copy it so we can see it better. All right, so then paste it down here. And basically we are just passing a callback function and we request the user ID, name and email if it exists, otherwise it's gonna be null. So this is how we should approach exposing data to our client side. We only expose the fields that are safe. And for example, we don't even want to expose their email, so we can get rid of that. But again, this is a simple application, so we can do it synchronously. That's fine. So that's all about shared data and this video.